praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakakudash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Habakakudash, which is the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect, unto the sincere brothers that are out there prophesying, laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, throughout the four corners of the earth unto you, I say shalom. Muzzled truth. I'm going to get into some history, some brief history on um, the 5013C, all right, and, and the real truth about it, okay, and how it was, you know, how it was um, formulated pretty much by, um, uh, well, former President Lyndon B. Johnson, well, he was a senator at the time when he brought forth this, um, added this section to uh, the tax code in 1954, all right, but I say muzzle truth because you have a lot of Israelites out there, Israelite groups, all right, IUIC, ISUPK, just to name a few, that have a that are under a 5013C um, where they're tax exempt. Therefore, they can't speak on certain things. They can't, they don't really go into Jacob's trouble. They don't go into the MOTB. Okay, the, and now they're now they're pumping their brakes, they're pulling back on talking about the so-called white man. All right, so you taking that bag, you have that. You know, that, that money, that filthy lucre where you can't speak on certain things, all right, where you you have truth, yet you tell Israel, all right, that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that they're the children of Israel, all right, but they don't speak on the name, all right, they don't really get deep into these prophecies, all right, they, they go into some prophecies, they go into some scriptures, okay, but they're not telling our people the whole truth, okay, and, and, and in these times, the latter times, we're at the end, of, you know, we're at the end of days where our people should get the, 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 the truth unfiltered, all right? You know, hey, forget how you feel, all right? This is the truth. And, and the prophets, the true and sincere prophets of Yahweh Hashem Shai are going to give it to you, you know, straight, no chase. And these groups, which have, which are under this 5013C, they can't tell you that. They can't, they, like I said, they can't, they, they won't tell you, they'll, they'll speak on the MOTB. But they won't tell you what it is because they've been they've been compromised. All right, a true man of the Lord can't be compromised. All right, and true, uh, 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 they they can't. Okay, they can't be bought. Okay, because ultimately we fear Yahweh Shemayim Shah, and we know the reward that you know, Lord willing, we endure to the end. Okay, it is way greater than anything that this devil could ever offer us. They could have this devil could offer us the world. All right, we're not gonna. Uh, 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 turn our uh, uh, um, turn on the Lord. All right, put our put our hand to the plow and look back. All right, we're gonna continue to push this truth in, in, until we can't anymore. Okay, but you can't say that about all these guys out here that are deceiving our people. All right, they, they're no they're no better than the devil. All right, a devil meaning deceiver. All right, because that's what this devil Esau has done. Okay, generation after generation, century after century, has deceived our people with the with mainly with the Christian church, and they're doing the same thing with an Israelite twist. So I'm going to read a little bit of this article. Actually, let me start um, with this real quick. Um, Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob's their sins. All right, we're supposed to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Okay, we said spare not. not we're not going to spare your feelings. We're not going to, we're not bought. Okay, we, 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 we're not going to spare your feelings of what you think about this, that, or whatever. All right, we're not going to be politically correct Israelites. We're going to give it to you straight. All right, that, like, like your Shai, all right, would, would, would give it, like your Shai gave it to the people. Okay, he didn't beat around the bush and, you know, you know, it wasn't no maybes. It's, it's no maybes or no gray areas in this truth. It's, it's yes or no. It's that your yeas be Yay, your nays be nay, all right. But you got these these guys out here that 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 proclaim to have the truth. They put on a garment like they got the truth, but they really don't have the truth. They they they, they they'll give you eighty percent, maybe some of them even ninety percent, but that ten percent is what matters. That ten percent is the difference between salvation and being on those chariots and not receiving salvation 
and being destroyed here in the lake of fire. All right. Hey, you got IUIC now teaching that, you know, that, that the whole hell thing that you burn in the lake of fire. OK, they, they're just, you know, they're just uh, slowly, you know, basically trying to uh, 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 Christianize. Like that's a word. Their doctrine. All right. So let me go back to this article. It's a brief article. It says uh, most churches in America have organized as 5013C tax exempt religious organizations. This is a fairly recent trend that has only been going on about 50 years. Churches were only added to the Section 501C3 of the tax code in 1954. We can thank Senator Lyndon B. Johnson for that. Johnson was no ally of the church. As part of his po political agenda, Johnson had in mind to silence the church and eliminate eliminate the significant influence the church had had all, always had on shaping public policy. All right, to silence the church, and then they're, they're not really they really don't give a shit about silencing silencing the Christian church, the Catholic church. Yeah, they say things, but they're really not going to speak on real issues. All right, they, 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 this was put in place ultimately for this truth to try to silence this truth. Because the, the Bible, the scriptures has, man, tells you the whole truth about our people. It tells you the whole truth about our enemies. Okay, it tells you the truth about the future. All right, the future judgments for America, the future judgments for those that fight against Israel. All right, it's the only book that can tell the past, present, and future of our people. Okay, but they 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 try hard, try man, they they spend. Millions, probably billions of dollars to try to try to uh, put a muzzle on this truth. All right. And you got two third ass Israelite groups. Or I won't call them, you know, I won't call them two thirds because there's some sincere believers amongst these groups. But they got to come up out of that. The Lord has to uh, uh, deliver them uh, 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 from those uh, those snares, you know, of, uh, of these groups. All right. In their doctrines. OK. When you have a few guys that's leaving these groups, you know, they may not do it um, publicly, but hey. Hey, they're hey, like the apostles say, they're window shopping. Okay? And and because when everyone's going to want to have a want a definite answer about the MOTB. Is it this thing that they're saying it is? Okay? And, and they're gonna want a yes or no. And you know, they ain't gonna want to hear, well, you you know, it's not this, but you don't take it. No, they want to know for sure. Because you, hey, everyone that that everyone's livelihood is gonna be determined by that. All right, and you know, your job, everything in your life, okay? And then that's when, you know, when you got to, you know, like the Christians like to say, let go and let God, you know, right? You got to let the most high, you know, a, um, you know, guide us and feed us and clothe us and shelter us in that day because it's going to come, all right, where this devil is, everything that is attached to this world that you love and that you, you, you use and that you need is going to be attached to that MOTB. And that's when you're going to be made. That's when you're going to have to make a choice. All right. That's that hour of temptation. But they're not telling you about that. All right. So I'm going way off track. But um, back to this. Um, back to this article about, you know, them silencing the church. Although Johnson pro proffered um, this as a favor to churches, the favor also came with strings attached All right, like the. Elder brother in our camp said, this devil always wants his money back. It's nothing that this devil gives you or offers you that, 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 don't, that does not have string atta strings attached. All right. If you take their money, you take their uh, money, any, any form, all right, they're going to want their money back somehow. And, they, and this devil usually wants interest. Okay. It says, came with strings attached more like shackles. All right. One need not, one need not look far for, to to see the devastating effects of 501 c three acceptance has had to the church, and consequences consequent restrictions placed upon 501 c three church five hundred one c five hundred one c three churches are prohibited from addressing any tangible in any tangible way the vital issues of the day. So anything that's going on political, anything going on social, you know, uh, 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 whatever it may be going on, the um, the church cannot address that. The church can't tell you don't take the jab. The church can't tell you don't take the MOTB. 
All right, when it comes to the church, hey, they, they, the church has a script. All right, Esau gave the church the script to stick to, and if they go off script, it's going to be consequences. All right, Esau, man, don't think, ain't no church too big for Esau to shut down, okay? Or, or you know, hey, they'll, they'll get that preacher, pastor, um, like the um, uh, uh, apostles say, pro poverty pimp out of there and put another puppet up there, okay? It, it's, it's this devil, we're in his, we're in his, we're in this captivity. We're under this devil's, you know, under control, but we're under this devil's um, uh, 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 rule. So he, he pretty much can do whatever he wants, especially when you have those strings attached, which come in the form of that 501c3. Uh, All right. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, let me start right here. For a 501c3 church to openly speak out to or organize in opposition to anything that the government declares legal even if it is immoral, um, example, abortion, homosexuality, and there's several things that's in the scriptures that go completely against what this society pushes, okay? Everything, again, that everything in this wicked-ass society is a, a, a complete opposite and um, opposition of the holy scriptures, okay? And the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that he put forth for our people, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to live by. Okay, all right. Hey, the the the, the Bible clearly has a, a, a states is against homosexuality. It has a judgment for homosexuality, but you the church never speaking never speaks on it. The church will never go into Leviticus twenty and thirteen. Okay, the the, the the church will never touch on the Book of Revelations. The church will never touch on uh, uh um the, the the prophetic books. All right, because really at the end of the day, a lot of these churches can't they can't break them down. All right, your, your Christian preacher, your, your 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 Catholic priest, they can't break these things down because these these mysteries were only given to the servants of prophets. Okay, but they can't silence us because we, hey, we we don't got no strings attached. Okay, only strings attached to us is the ones by your Habash Shemar Shah. Okay, you can't hey you can't overthrow this truth. All right, this and we know Esau is gonna come down with great wrath. We know he's gonna come against the the uh the, the brothers, the the men of the Lord. Okay, but hey, that's a part of this. All right, we know the persecution is going to come, but our job is to push the word and, and you know, push his word out to the elect. All right, and it's the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh Shai, that quickens um, the elect with, the, with his spirit. And once the elect is, has been woken up, or right, once the elect confesses the name, Yahweh Shai, all right, hey, then, hey, it's, hey, it's, 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 it's it, okay? Prophecy, the, 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 seventh, um, the seventh trumpet is being blown. And, and, and this devil is being taken down and, and we're up out of here. All right. That that's they've done. Esau has done everything in their existence to try to put a muzzle on this truth and, and, and you know, really take us, separate us from our power. All right. And, and Esau's spearheads it. But, you know, uh, I'm going to grab this in uh, Psalms 83. All these nations have been ultimately confederate against us. This is uh, Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thy enemies make a turmoil. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. That, that's where their ultimate goal, all right? If we can, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, silence the church, okay? And, and, and you know, and use, this, use the church as a weapon to uh, confuse our, um, um, these people, these Israelites, the chosen people, then, you know, we can keep them, we can keep, we, we can rule forever, all right, long as they're away from their power, long as they don't know who the hell they are, all right, and we can rule, and that's what they did, all right, and for, 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 uh, you know, a long period of time, but through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim yeah, we have been, we have been, uh, waking up, he quickened his elect, all right, his, uh, he called his, um, elect, and, you know, they uh, uh, called men to do this work. Lord willing, we're chosen. And, and, and the elect is waking up. All right, let me read the rest. And for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab, the Hagarines, Gabal, and Ammon, and Amalek. That's the head right there. And Amalek, and he, he has his hands in all of this. All right, Amalek makes, makes the laws and, and, you know, and makes the laws and profits off these laws. All right. Don't think that these churches are getting away. Yeah, they let, let these churches have some money, but who, who's profiting off of this? And uh, uh, Amalek, first and foremost. 
All right, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher is also joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Selah. All right, so all these nations were confederate against us. And the main thing was to silence and muzzle this truth so it would never come out. So we could just stay in Christianity. We could um, call ourselves black and Latinos and Hispanic and all these fucking bywords that, you know, our people are, are calling themselves these bywords. They don't even know what the hell they mean. And, they, and they'd be proud as hell of it, too. You know, you niggas calling themselves black. Man, that's man, that's the most, man, I think the, one of the most derogatory terms you can call yourself. Okay, all right. Back to these uh, article. Uh, the, the church did. Did the church ever need to seek permission from the government to be exempt from taxes? Were churches prior to 1954 taxable? No, churches have never been tax been taxable. To be taxable, a church would first need to be under the jurisdiction, therefore under the taxing authority of the government. The First Amendment clearly places the church outside of the jurisdiction of the civil government. Congress shall make no laws respecting an establishment of religion, nor prohibiting the free exercise thereof, freedom of religion. All right, that was the First Amendment, along with freedom of speech. Um, religion can cannot be free if you may if you have to pay the government through taxation to exercise it. Since churches aren't taxable in the first place, why do so many of them go to the IRS and seek permission to be tax exempt? It occurs out of ignorance. We didn't we didn't know any better. All right. A lot of them, they, they just think that's a thing to do. Bad, bad and, and it goes with the second one, bandwagon logic. Everyone else is doing it. Well, I got a church. So I got a, you know, since I'm preaching the word, I, you know, I'm going to set up this 5013C and you know, we can get this and we can get this for the brothers. Man, you making an alliance with Esau. You making an alliance with the devil. All right. Professional advice. Many attorneys and CPAs recommend it. All right. So you 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 see, you're, and you're gonna the, the truth is gonna be made clearer and clearer. Who has it and who doesn't? Who's compromised and who's not compromised? Who took the bag and who did it? Okay, you can see who took the bag. Look how these guys are living. All right, how much do you think it costs to rent a horse to come into your uh, um, your Passover? These guys got it so good they feel that they don't even have to go out to the streets and preach. They they they, they like the scripture says the, those that are settled. On their leaves, um, what is that? Zephaniah, the, the first chapter. These guys is comfortable. All right, and these are some of the um, different tax exemptions, uh, you know, that, but it's, it's a lot. If you go into it, um, uh, a CPA can go through this and they'll tell you it's so many. This is just, this is just minor right here. All the things you can get from being tax exempt. Um, one of the, I think one of the elders or somebody mentioned that if you, if you're tax exempt, you know, through, you know, um, through your church, like it's somehow you can be tax exempt through your job, like your regular job. OK, so these guys, you know, that's why they can't speak the whole truth. And that's why their doctrine doctrine is always changing. But they speak with elegant words. They have nice garment. They, they look the part. They look like, you know, uh, 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 you know, we're Israelites and we're marching in the street and they look the part. But do they really have the truth? You got all these guys marching, but how many of them teachers? How many of can how many of them can break down Daniel the seventh chapter? Break down Revelations twelve and thirteen, okay? Break down Revelations eighteenth chapter about Babylon the Great. Not 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 all of them can, okay? The Lord is looking for teachers. The Lord is the, the scripture says the laborers are few. All right, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. The Lord is looking for teachers, okay? But these guys, hey, you know they, they're comfortable. All right, they, 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 they don't desire to be teachers. They just want to live comfortable in Babylon and think when, you know, when shit hit the fan, when Jacob's trouble come, that's when they're going to go in the super Israelite mode. It don't work like that. You got to be doing the work consistently, diligently, okay? And, 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 and speaking the right thing, speaking the truth, all right? All right, giving the people the truth because you're supposed to be giving a warning unto the people, all right? Not, not, not sitting up there thinking, oh, well, this is too heavy. You know, I ain't going to speak on this. Or um, they're not ready for this yet. They're not ready for to you know what the MOTB is yet. They're not ready for the the, the, the true name of Yahweh Hashem a true true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, that's the that's the, the mindset of these these guys, man, because they they they've been compromised. Okay, they they took that they took the devil's they took the devil's money, and you know the, you can't give it back to the devil. You can't the devil don't the devil's like no, you know we got a deal. All right, so you know. And you gotta stick to you gotta stick to that deal, 
All right, so let me grab uh, real quick uh, the book of Micah, chapter uh, 3 and um, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. The prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. That's how they think. They think like, look at us. We, we, we got money. Okay, we were doing all right. Look at look look at these garments that we have on. You know, look look at our uh, panel we have, and look how look how uh, the the post and pre production of our videos. All right, no evil is going to come amongst us. You know, because they're not really leaning on the Lord Yahweh. They're leaning on their own understanding. They're leaning on their own, upon their own vain opinions. Okay, and they're leading the 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 you know the children of Israel to to uh, to a path of destruction. Okay. You know, and really, you know, those that follow these guys, they're going to be destroyed too. All right. So imagine the judgment for the leaders. All right. If you're a leader, you got, it's a, it's a heavy responsibility. Okay. You, you, you can't, you just can't say anything and say, think that people will figure it out. If you're a leader, you got to be saying the right thing, the right shit. All right. Or you're going to get, it's going to, you're going to get a lot of people destroyed out here. Okay. Let me jump over to Titus 10, uh, excuse me, Titus 10. Titus chapter uh, 1 and verse 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially of especially they of the circumcision. These guys are deceivers. All right. They, they, they'll, they'll act like they hate the devil up and down. Okay. But hey, at the end of the day, you filled out that paperwork. All right. The devil, the devil got papers on you. Okay. So hey, you niggas must not hate Esau that much. All right, you can talk bad about the devil and bring out the history, but hey, this devil got you on paperwork. What do you got to say about that? All right, but but hey, they, 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 these guys, these are unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. All right, we, we, the word devil means deceiver. These guys is nothing but uh, devils rep, dressed up in uh, Israelite garments. Verse eleven: Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy. Lucre's sake. They're teaching things which they are not. They shouldn't be teaching uh, uh, you can have sex on the Sabbath day. You know, that, that's, a, that's, a Babylon, that, that's a Babylonian uh, uh, um, Babylonian Roman, um, you know, way of life. You know, do as thou will. Oh, you can do you can do what you... And then they, they use the scriptures to justify it. That, that's the wicked That's the wicked part about it. Okay? For that filthy lucre. Okay? Telling you, oh, the MOTB is sin. The MOTB is an embargo. Or uh, the MOT, they they just they just continue to wax worse and worse. Let me grab this real quick. Uh, this is Sirach, uh, 33, Here it is, 32, uh, verse uh, Sirach 32 and 17. A simple man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. It ain't, it's, it's, they're doing it according to their will. It ain't about our will. It's the will of Yahweh Shem Shah that must be done. But a sinful man will not be reproved. He won't be corrected. All right? And he's going to find the excuse according to his will. He's going to try to find and twist scriptures that fit you know, their doctrine. How, okay, yeah, this, that, oh, it, that makes sense. Damn, that does make sense. No, they know that shit don't make sense, but they so full of their own bullshit that they they start to believe it. All right, like, yeah, you know, hey, it might be sin. Um, this is First Timothy chapter six and verse three. Uh, it reads, "If any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doing, but dotting." about questions and strifes of words, wherefore cometh envy and strife, railing, evil, some surmising. All right, and this word surmising, let me look it up real quick. Hyponia, sounds like hypnosis almost, you know. These, these wicked niggas is hypnotizing Jake um, with, with a bullshit doctrine. Um... Suppose that something is true without having evidence to confirm it. 
All right. Um, and, and that's what they do. They they don't they 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 talk this shit, but they don't have the scriptures to back it up. OK. And they're not breaking the scriptures down in their proper context to back it up. OK. And the MOTB is one of the easiest scriptures to break down. All you got to do is read the 17th chapter. They read 16 and say and, 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 and close the book. And, and, and they won't go into the buying and selling part. OK. Um, verse five. Um, perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds and destitute of truth. Suppose that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. They, they think that gain is godliness, but godliness with contempt is great gain. All right, they think that, that just because you got gain, that, that, that's like the Christian church. That's no different than Creflo Dollar, the TD Jakes, the prices of, of the world that, that, you know, look at this. I got a Bentley and I got a jet and a plane. I mean, a jet and this big church. The Lord must be dealing with That's what these guys think. All right. But the Lord is dealing with the humble, the meek, the lowly. All right. The underdog. All right. The Lord is dealing with those that, that that's at the bottom, the last. He ain't dealing with you, with you jakes that got a lot in this world. That that's comfortable. That's sitting up there thinking that, okay, you know, you good. So you ain't got to go out and, and push the word. You're going to see a lot of it, uh, uh, Jake's amongst Israel that know the Israelites begin to get judged out here. The Lord is going to make examples. And, and the scripture says uh, a judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach. No, excuse me. Tripping. Ecclesiastes. Seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And a gift destroyed the heart. And that gift, that ultimate gift, is that money, that comfortable, comfortable lifestyle. Okay? Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. These guys, in their mind, they, they don't even feel like they're oppressed. I believe um, Captain Desariac a while ago said, you know, someone I interviewed him said, are you oppressed? Well, I'm not oppressed. Nigga, you pay taxes. Nigga, you got to breathe this air, drink this water. All right, this devil is ruling over you. He's putting all this wicked shit on our... <laughs> On our on our TVs and the music, everything is you 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 man you 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 oppressed when you sleep. That's how wicked this society is. But you got a nigga out there saying he ain't oppressed. Man, um, let me see. I got a few more scriptures I want to grab. Um, Isaiah chapter one and um, uh, verse twenty three. The princes, the princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loveth gifts. And followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither do doeth the cause of the widow come unto them. All right, these this is nothing new under the sun. These same wicked ass false prophets that were back in the ancient world are back today. Okay, they love gifts. All right, they they follow after reward. They they you know back in the ancient world they're being paid off by um by uh by by sin offerings, turtle doves, lambs. You know, and, 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 you know, it was like a, uh, they had a whole little system working. The same thing today. Okay. Esau, you know, increases that bag, you know, increases those direct deposits. All right. Those monthly stipends or weekly stipends or whatever these guys are getting. And they say, okay, we need you to not go into that MOTB. We need you to water down the uh, part about the Gentiles. We need you to, and, and you, you, you slowly but surely see their doctrines continue to change. Okay. Hey, this devil got paperwork on you niggas, man. You know? Um, I'm going to go over to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 20. And um, verse 29. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Presents and gifts. Okay, well, they blind the eyes. These guys, these guys, these guys, I'm not going to front. These guys know the scriptures. You know, they go off sometimes, but they know Enough of the scriptures, you can call them wise to a degree. They don't have 100% truth, but the, these presents and gifts blind their judgment. Okay, they, they can't reprove. They they can't, you know, they, they won't, you know, uh, uh, um, go into certain things. Okay, because at the back of their mind, they, they, they took that Judas purse. All right, and look what happened to Judas. All right, the same judgment is going to come amongst these guys unless they repent. All right, and, and the, the way things are going, hey. It's, it's for a lot of them. It may be too late for these guys to repent. They so they too deep. They so deep in the bed with Esau. It's going to be too late. Okay, but you know, I just wanted you know to bring out this little you know little article on uh, this devil right here, Lyndon B. Johnson, and the, the facts about the five hundred one three C and how you know this happened in nineteen fifty four and how it applies today. 
And we're not even talking about, we talk, you know, this is specifically talking about the Christian church, Catholic church. And we know that all of these religions came from the Catholic church, but this even, um, this even stems over to uh, the truth now, all right, where you got these guys, they're no, no different than the Christian and the Catholic church, which deceived, deceived our people for so long and really destroyed our people and confused our people. Okay, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh Till next time, Shalom.